A billionaire son, 28-year-old Saeed Gatirov, just got married to 20-year-old Kadja. The wedding was rumored to have cost $1 billion. The father who paid for the wedding is an oil and media tycoon worth $6.2 billion, according to Forbes. Kadja is studying at Moscow University for dentistry, and Saeed was educated in the UK at Harrow and Oxford. It doesn't really seem like they need to do much work because they have rich parents, but it's kind of good that they're going to school. At this wedding, there's performers like J-Lo, Sting, and even Enrique Iglesias. There was Rolls Royce everywhere as well. And check out this whole wall of flowers. This is what the venue looked like on the inside. It's totally decked out with lights everywhere and it's decorated floor to ceiling. Katia's dress was imported from France and reportedly weighed 25 pounds. There were 600 guests that attended the wedding. And take a look at how big this wedding cake was. I mean, it does have to be enough to feed 600 people. And I couldn't imagine how much food had to have been at this wedding and how many people needed that, like, how about, you know, the servers and the chefs. This was for sure a night that both of them will never forget. And hopefully they last a very long time together because if anything happens, you know, this is going to be a really hard one to be if they have to get married again. Okay, so breaking news about Marco Mazzo. He has just been sentenced to 10 years in prison for killing four innocent people and seriously injuring two others in a catastrophic collision that happened last fall. Marco Mazzo was under the influence of alcohol when the tragic incident happened. The night of the accident, his blood alcohol concentration level was three times above the legal limit. Last month, in court, he pleaded guilty to four counts of impaired driving causing the deaths of four people. The four people lost their lives was two-year-old Millie, five-year-old Harrison, nine-year-old Daniel. So there they're all siblings. They also lost their grandfather, Gary Neville. And he was 65 years old. Gary's wife, 64 year old, Nariza, and her mother, who's 91 year old Josephina, survived the crash. Okay, this next story is about Nick Blackwell. He was placed in an induced coma after suffering internal bleeding to his brain. And this is during a beatdown he got in the boxing ring by Chris Eubank Jr. The fight was stopped during round 10 by the referee because Nick Blackwell was suffering a badly swollen eye. And this just shows you how dangerous boxing can can be. It can cause a lot of brain damages. Okay, check this. So there will be a new golfing service in a city south of Tokyo. They're going to be using a drone to fly drinks and balls to golfers in minutes. So forget about using a caddy to do these things for you. Drones have become a very fast growing device. Amazon wanted to use drones to deliver mail in a fast way for customers. Going back to this golfing service, the golf course partnered up with startup company Autonomous Control System Laboratory to provide golf golfers with super fast service. If this test becomes successful, we're probably going to see drones at every golf course. Okay, so one of the biggest things talked on social media right now is one of the social medias and we're talking about Instagram. A lot of people are freaking out and a lot of people are confused with the updates. So let me try to simplify everything, clarify everything, and tell you guys everything that's going on with Instagram. So there's many changes that have already happened and some of these changes are slowly happening. The algorithm. The algorithm is changing with Instagram. Now, instead of seeing your friends' feeds in chronological order, whenever they post something, it gets bumped on top, pushing everything down. Now, Instagram is given priority to the more popular posts, which means for businesses, you no longer get a free ride of getting your post, you know, on top. So now with this new algorithm, this is a business move. Now you gotta pay a little bit of money if you wanna see your post on top. So this is an extra way for Instagram to create more revenue. Also, Instagram just rolled out yesterday 60 second videos. That's right, it's no longer 15 seconds, the short videos you gotta make, which is a lot longer than the Vine videos, but it still wasn't enough. So now you get 60 seconds to be way more creative. Also with the longer videos, they also introduce multi-clip support on the iOS. You can take videos and put them together. But this update has been glitching a lot and it's causing very long upload times. So hopefully they get this fixed because I think this is a really awesome update. Also quick update with your iOS. You can now download the iOS 9.3, but this again has been causing users problems. This software update is causing apps to crash. And especially when you use the Safari, it crashes. Apple has addressed to the public that they are aware of these multiple bugs and they will have a patch very soon to fix everything. Disabling JavaScript solves parts of these issues when opening links in Safari. So this is just a temporary fix, but Apple's usually quick with fixing these things. So I'm sure there's nothing really to worry about. Okay, check out this new supersonic way to travel. This boom jet is going to be offering you affordable supersonic travel. A trip from London to New York is usually eight hours, but now with this supersonic boom thing that flies really fast in the air that they call a jet, well now from New York to London, it's only going to take 3.5 hours. They've cut the time in half. 
But this trip is gonna cost you about $5,000. But the company is advertising it as a really affordable way to travel. But I don't know, do you guys pay like more than four times the price to, you know, cut the time in half? Maybe if I was going from like Toronto where I'm from to Australia where it's gonna take 23 hours, because I'm actually going to Australia in May, and I'm really not looking forward to this one, guys. But if I can pay double or triple, actually, no, that's a lot of money. But if I can get there in just 10, 11 hours, that'd be pretty cool. I would probably go there more often. From a fast flight to a very scary moment that happened, scientists fear the sun super flare eruption could destroy Earth. If the sun ever creates a super flare, it can become so hot that we're not going to be able to survive on Earth. The last time we witnessed a solar flare eruption was back in 1859. This is a phenomenon known as Carrington Event. Also evidence from geological archives have shown that the sun might have produced a small super flare in 775 AD. The chances of something like this is very slim. So I don't know why scientists are always scaring us on NASA, you know, Earth is going to be destroyed possibly. These are just headlines of like, you know, suck us in to read their articles and stuff. I'm hoping because damn, I don't want to die. Well, I hope I don't scare you guys because I think it's a very, very slim chance and I don't think it's happening. So no worries guys, but uh, this is where I'm going to end off today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm actually filming this video really, really late at night right now. I'm super tired. I'm actually going to go to bed. I've been filming like crazy. The other day I filmed about 14 videos for Most Amazing Top 10. And I've been all over this channel as well, uploading extra videos for you guys. But no worries. You guys are keeping me super motivated. So thank you guys so much. Thanks for all the support. And just letting you guys know that in two, three days, on Most Amazing Top 10, we're hitting 1 million subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you so much for everything, guys. Have a good night if it's the end of your night, or a good morning if you guys are waking up to my video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh wait, I already did that ending. Okay, bye.